The death of a Johannesburg University PhD student originally from Tanzania. Baraka Nafari died in an alleged hit and run incident near UJ on February 23rd. A CCTV footage shows Nafari and a fellow student being chased by two men in a taxi. Nafari was eventually knocked down by the taxi. He died at the scene. He was somebody with amazing human qualities. Evidence of the alleged hit and run incident. The PhD student's life cut short. The intention was to knock him down and most likely to kill him, yes. A friend viewed UJ's CCTV footage. We see that there's a taxi with two people inside the taxi that are chasing Baraka and a fellow student. They're chasing Baraka to the right, then to the left, then at a certain point uh, somebody steps down off the car and attacks Baraka on the ground. Nafari managed to escape, but the suspect allegedly got back into his taxi. The taxi is even driving against the, the direction of the traffic, and this persecution only ends when the taxi strikes Baraka dead, right here. The university community wants answers. This was not an act of God. This is a, pure, a clear case of murder. The suspect was released on bail pending investigations. The key witness over and above the CCTV footage had agreed to come forward and give a statement. So it was only after the, 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 this key witness failed to arrive that we then secured the CCTV footage. It's not that it wasn't part of the evidence, it's just that at that stage we were still hoping that he would be able to come forward. A case of culpable homicide is being investigated. We want justice for Baraka. Mariki Kamatave, SABC News, Johannesburg. The freedom.